like you ever felt. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. What's good, Melanin Mafia? It's your favorite Melanin Queen back on the month can sing. Y'all, she's ready to go in. You get videos all week. Um, have some Jimmy John's. I have um, barbecue chips. And these two are the Italian. And then this one is the um, um, turkey and bacon. This one look a little light. It's a little light. It's got lettuce and um, mayonnaise. Pickles, supposed to be cucumbers. Oh yeah, so cucumbers. Oil and vinegar. And then, uh, which one do I want? Italian is like salami, ham, um, some other kind of meat. Pickles, tomato, uh, lettuce, cheese, mayo, onions. I, I can't even focus, I'm just ready to eat this. That's all I know. Um, let me put a little bit more mayonnaise on it because I like my sandwiches juicy. Mm. Mm. That's gonna give me what I need. I've never had this turkey and um bacon one. So let me see. Let me see what this turkey one talking about. Well, she looks weak. She is very weak. Mm, I just love Italian sandwiches, you get so much flavor. And this ain't all that. I get some pickles. Alright, y'all. Got me some pickles. I love pickles with sandwiches, burgers, hot dogs, chicken sometimes too, fried chicken. I love me a pickle. Let's see, that looks like a bunch of bread and ain't halfway no meat. Still working. I'm trying to get these angles right. Cause I feel like the food should be close to my face, but then it cut off half my head. So I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out.
I love barbecue chips. I'm really like kettle cooked. Cause I feel like they'd be too crunchy. But I love barbecue chips. So today I'm gonna to talk about like random little um, facts about me or my eyes cut off too. Okay, that's better. Um, yeah. Um, so I probably should have wrote out a list of this stuff because I'm about to be going off the cuff. Spilling out. Mm. First one back. I um I used to play the violin. Um I played all through elementary school. Um, I played in middle school. And then I played um, just my freshman year of high school. And then I was over it. <laughs> but um, I was so excited to play the violin when I was younger. Like, that's what I wanted to learn. That's what I was on. And I played it for a minute. I used to hate reading music though. Like, oh my goodness. I hate reading music. But you had to learn it. After a while, I ended up playing by ear. So I listened to a song. Like I remember the first song I learned by ear was um, Killing Me Softly. I just kept going over and over. Like I got that back um, by ear. But yeah. She's trained, a trained musician. How you doing? <laughs> oh, she like I said, a trained musician. I'm done. Mm. You ever eat something messy and it'd be like on your hands and stuff and you feel like you have to lick it off your hands instead of just wiping it off? Like, I feel like I need to eat every little piece that falls. Like, I need to eat that off my finger. Another little fun fact is that, um, I took Taekwondo for, hmm, I think like six years maybe. I think from like 10 to 16, I took Taekwondo. And I have my um, first degree black belt. Um, again, once I got 16, I was like, I'm over it. I don't want to go anymore. Uh. Oh, excuse me. But I definitely have my black belt. And like I literally like, still have it. Like I can go in my storage closet right now and pull out my uniform gi and my belt. I wanna eat this turkey one, but it's just not hitting. I don't wanna waste my money, but it's not. You know, I'll probably keep going to this one to eat. I'm still eating this one. Mm. Mm. So these are all eight inch subs.
So if I finish off three, that's 24 inches of slug. Mm. Another fun fact um, is that um, I guess, yeah. I'm pretty good at public speaking. Like I always have been. I don't know. It's like I'm not really shy. Well, not not really. I'm just, I'm not shy. It's either I want to do it or I don't. But, um, so like growing up, I just got chosen like to speak at stuff. I remember, um, not like 10 or something, or nine. A little summer camp. I got chosen to speak in front of it. I think it was like 2,000 people there or something. Um, in school at assemblies, like even in high school. I used to speak at assemblies and stuff like that. And um, it was so irritating because they, they started calling me um, Oprah in high school. And I was irritated because I'm like, y'all trying to say I look like Oprah? I don't appreciate that. Like, give me, I don't know. I don't want to be Oprah. But then it was like I embraced it. I don't like know. Oprah was like, Oprah. Oprah is you know a mogul pretty much and it was at the top of her game you know at that time or whatever so for them to compare me to her it's just kind of like okay it's not a dig so i got over that and now we had this um this little club i was in the um, key at club and we got um, sweatshirts and stuff like that. You could put your name and stuff on the back. So I put Oprah on the back of mine because everybody called me Oprah all the time. But I spoke at like the senior convocation and um, insulation, um, just a whole bunch of stuff. Like I, I always get asked to do stuff like that. There's even a picture in my um, in my um, senior yearbook. With me, I'm speaking one of them times. I can't remember what the event was, but I just know I had the mic and was walking through the crowd. Oprah oh, child. But, um, yeah, so I picture me, like, dressed up with the mic, handing it to people in the um, yearbook. Yeah, so, um, let's see. Another fun fact about me. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> Excuse me, I don't know why it's like when I burp. Oh, maybe because it's kind of like you're holding your breath. I don't know, but once I get it out, I'm like, ooh, gotta catch my breath. Oh, and it's his sweet tea. I forgot to say that. It's almost gone, tea. I don't like it. I don't feel like that's in there. So yeah, another fun fact is that I took sign language, I think I want to say from like second grade to fifth grade. Did I have it in middle school? I think I took it in middle school. I took it in high school. And um, I really wanted it to be like really fluent in sign language. But I don't know, American Sign Language is just, I don't know, the way my brain thinks, it's just hard to grasp it because you kind of, well, not grasp it, but to, I don't know, implement it for me, I don't know. But it's just like, because you don't say things in the way that you would say a sentence. Like, um, like in high school, we had to, um, we had to sign a song, right? So the song that me and um, the, my group uh, did was, um, but if God was one of us, by um, dang, what's that word girl name? I forgot. Jewel, Jewel, or something. I think maybe. But so, if your sentence is, "What if God was one of us?" When you sign it, you sign it. If God, people, same. So it's like it's awkward to 
formulate sentences that way. But I um I can remember some stuff. And I have a friend of the family who's deaf. Um, she's younger than me. She's maybe like um is she about ten years younger than me? I don't know, but like growing up whenever she came around me, she would always be so excited because I could like communicate with her and talk to her. And um some stuff I had to spell out because you know I don't know all of everything but I know a little something something but I always thought it was cool like when you see you know interpreters or whatever people sitting on the side of the stage and they sitting and typing I'm not typing but signing like a whole you know speech or whatever like that like that is just so sweet to me I really wanted to do stuff like that but I didn't stick with it and like I said it's I don't know kind of hard for me to grasp it like that I love barbecue chips. Like the barbecue taste is so. Mm. Another fun fact is that um, I'm a member of a sorority in the Divine Honor. I don't rep it anymore, mom. If I never really talk about it or do anything, I'm not active or financial or whatever. And I wish somebody would say something. No, let me stop. <clears throat> no, so I joined the undergrad, pledged in undergrad. <clears throat> Let's be clear, she pledged. <clears throat> no, let me stop. But um, I said it because pledging is illegal. We weren't supposed to, but I definitely pledged and pledged others. Um, So I um, crossed my junior no, and that's them. I was so active, so dedicated. So once I went in and joined. They wrote me as the second vice president. No, first. First vice president. And then my senior year, they voted me as president. Okay. Then I graduated from college. And went and joined a um, graduate chapter. Still active, still financial, da da They wanted me to be. Later on, I found out they was trying to get me to be the president. But they, first I went in as the um, first vice president again. And when I was getting ready to move down here, the president came to me and was, you know, asking me if I wanted to be the president and trying to prep me for it and stuff like that to, for them to pretty much vote me into being the president. I said, no, ma'am, she's moving. No, thank you. Mm. Once I graduated, you know, I said I was done home. Mm. Excuse me. I joined a competing step team. And it was drama and foolishness. And I am so not with the drama and the foolishness. It was drama and foolishness in undergrad. But you know, when you first go Greek, you know, you're so excited and stuff. Like, you wouldn't catch me without a piece of nail you own. If it's a lanyard, it's a keychain. If it's a necklace, if it's a bracelet, a line jacket, a keychain, something. She was repping, and you knew. But, um, and then I was very active on campus, too, so everybody knew what, what she was, because it was very obvious. But, um, drama undergrad, drama in the grad chapter, and, um, 
during the first step team, uh, during the step team, and it was drama. So a group of us broke off from that step team and started our own step team. Um, and it was drama. And, you know, I understand, you know, women, and, but listen, I'm not about to be paying to, um, volunteer and to be in an organization and got to deal with drama and foolishness. Like, in my grad chapter, you know, like I said, I'm on step two and stuff like that. I can dance a little bit, love some. She asked me to be the choreographer for our debutantes um, little ball thing or whatever. So they had to have a dance with the girls do a dance by themselves. The girls and their escorts do a dance and the girls and their fathers do a dance and the fathers dance with the girls and then the mothers dance with the escorts. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. So this is three dances that I have to teach. How many girls do we have? Maybe like eight. Maybe like eight girls and their escorts and both of their parents. I'm having practices every week with all these people. The chapter has a budget for this um, whole debutante program because they do like, you know, different classes. They learn the dances for the thing. They do outings, you know, all this other kind of stuff. So, there's a budget for um, this whole thing. And you know what I'm I'm fresh out of college, so she offered me, you know, 500 to choreograph these three dances and it teaches all these people. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm out of fresh out of college, $500. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So we're going through that. And then they have an etiquette class and the president teaches the etiquette class. And this is a one day thing. They had Kentucky Fried Chicken as their meal at this etiquette class. And she budgeted to pay herself or the teacher of the etiquette class, which she ended up volunteering to do, $300. And I was like, how do you get $300 for one class one day and they had KFC? And I'm sitting here teaching the, the girls, their escorts, the mama and the daddy multiple times a week, every week. for I think we had practices for like almost two months and I'm getting 500 and you getting 300 for one day, two hours tops. I just feel like that was like the, the, the straw that broke the camel's back. Like I said, it was drama on the grad. It was drama in um, the grad chapter. It was drama on the first step team. We broke off side of our own second uh, uh, step team. It was drama on that one. I broke away from that. And then the grad chapter, she pulled that mask. I said, you know what? Just sorority shit. And I was out. And I haven't been active ever since. I was going to. When I first moved down here. And I changed my mind. And I haven't been active ever since. And I don't. I don't. I don't know. I think about it every now and then. Like getting back active and. Repping, but hmm. like I feel like I've done pretty well. Cause a lot of people use it for networking and to advance and stuff in life, and I feel like I did kind of all right without having used my sorority as a crux to help me get jobs to help me get whatever. So, hmm. yeah, she's in the sorority. I was a tail. Meaning the last person in the line, the tallest person. And, um, yeah. And I was very active. Like, this is how I am as a person. Like, when I'm in something, like, I'm in it for real. Like, I'm in it. I'm dedicated to it and I'm in it. But once I get to that point where, like, uh uh, you done pissed me off too much, or I done got to the point where I ain't interested no more. When I'm over it, I'm all the way over it. And I don't know. That's how I was with that sorority style. 
I'm sorry, I'm going to hold it for it. It's like right now how dedicated I am to kickball. Like, I'm in it, so I'm in it. And it's just always have been with like clubs or activities, and relationships, whatever. Like when I'm in it, I'm in it. And when I'm over it, hmm, she's over it. In the back seats. Mm. My leg is going to sleep. This angle hasn't had my leg bent in. My uh, right butt cheek is sleep, and my right leg is sleep. Like, for real. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it now because this leg, I gotta get up and move. Uh. Oh, excuse me. I'm definitely not gonna get through this turkey because it ain't even hitting. But her, I'm about to finish her because she's got. But yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching. You learned some little cute little facts about me that you probably didn't know already. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Mwah.